Hello, Advanced Brown and Apprentice class. This is your video for June 28th, the first week of July. All right, for those of you that don't know, remember we are now doing a separate warm up video. I've got a 10 minute warm up video. Go watch that first. That's where the bow in is. That's going to warm you up. We are going to get right into our kata today, guys. All right, so make sure you watch that warm up video first. So these videos are going to be shorter because we've taken out the warm up. We are doing Saiyan Chin Kata for the summer, guys, for you. All right, so many of you have done Saiyan Chin Kata before, but some of you, especially advanced brown belts, have not, all right? But we can always use some review on Saiyan Chin Kata, guys, all right? And hey, if you feel like your Saiyan Chin Kata is good and you need more work on your Chinto, then go find the video for Chinto Kata and watch that one instead and then come back here for the rest of our stuff, all right? So we are just gonna get started with our Saiyan Chin, guys. So I'm gonna back way up because this comes forward a lot, all right? And I'm gonna mirror, I'm gonna go the same way as you guys. Ready, Yasme, Kitsuke, Ray, Hajime, Kata, Saiyan Chin, hands down, feet apart, all right? So we're going to look and turn this way, get in a horse stance, all right? Open up your hand, you're gonna cross your hands and bring them up like this and breathe, you should be looking straight ahead. Now you're going to close your fists, look to the front, and go back down the way you came. And finish with your fists behind your legs like you're doing two hammer fists back here. Then you're going to do an open hand block. Grab the person, you're grabbing their arm. My back hand is open. I'm stabbing down low while I pull with the front arm at the same time. Nice and slow. Now I'm going to switch and do the same thing on the other side. So pivot your front foot. Feet up together and slide and turn the other way. So here we go, horse stance, hands open, come up, look straight ahead. Close the fists, look forward, back down. Hammer fists behind you. Block, grab, pull, stab with the bottom hand. Bring this hand right to your belt. Make sure your stabbing hand gets out past your body, past your belt. One more time, pivot the foot, slide up and over the other way. One more this way, up, close the fist, look to the front, down, block, grab, pull, and stab. All right, see how my hand gets past, my other hand gets past my body, so I can stab. If I only go to here, I'm not stabbing anybody. I gotta get my hand out there. All right, so that is the beginning of Saiyan Chin Kata, guys. That is the first part. That's all we need to worry about today. All right, let's do that one more time, quick. All right, and then we're gonna get uh, and we're gonna get into some kicks. So here we go. I told you guys to back up. This one takes a lot of space. Here we go. Yasmin, Kitsuke, Ray, Hajime, Kata, Saiyan Chin. Up. Down, block, grab, pull, and stab. Pivot the foot, slide up so your feet are together, and then switch the other way, stay nice and low. Up, down, block, grab, pull. One more time, pivot the foot, slide up and out. Up. Down, block, grab, pull. There we go. All right, and that's all we'll do of Saiyan Chin today. All right, we're gonna move on to our kicks, guys. We're gonna start with our roundhouse kick, our basic back leg roundhouse kick. All right, you guys know all about that. All right, but we'll we'll do a few here. You can never do too many roundhouse kicks. All right. Here we go, left leg forward, right leg and back. Ready, itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Good, all right, other side, same thing. Five on this side. Ready, itch. Knee. Sun. 
Sheep. Hope you're keeping your guard up. Go. All right. So, but now we're going to do one you might not all have done before. So we're going to do our front leg roundhouse kick, but this one's called the hitch kick. All right. So watch me here. I pick my leg up and I'm going to do a little hop forward when I do my kick. It's to cover some space, to get closer. All right. You're doing that front leg roundhouse kick. Your opponent thinks maybe, oh, he can't reach me from there. Except I do my little hop and I get that much closer and then I can reach him. All right. So that's a, a hitch kick. All right. So I pick my leg up to kick and I hop while I kick. All right. So give it a try, guys. Again, I'll do it sideways so you can see me go. That's it. It's just a little hop on the foot to get closer. All right. So yeah, you can do your step up. You can even do your step behind. All right. To get some distance. That's more for your, for your uh, side kick. This one, they kind of don't know it's coming. They think you're standing in place. Oh, he's raised his leg. That's all he's going to do. Well, whoops. He does a little hitch and you get him. All right. So hitch kick. So try a few on each leg guys. All right, switch sides and just try a few on your own. All right, just do that little hop there. All right, so it's not, you don't wanna hop before you kick, you wanna hop as you kick, all right? Otherwise, it's too late. All right, you hop first, they know what you're doing and they're just gonna back up. You gotta kick and hop at the same time. All right, so practice that hitch kick, guys. As always, if you've got a partner, somebody who can hold a bag for you, they can hold the bag a little too far away. You can't reach it from where you are, so you do your pitch, and then you can reach it, all right? So uh, work on that hitch kick. All right, everybody grab your bows. We are doing Tokimini no Kun, the first bow kata. Again, some of you may know this, it's been a while. We haven't done this bow kata in like at least four months, guys. So a lot of you probably do not know, or even if you do know it, you don't remember it very well, because it's been a long time. So go grab your bow, kata bow, if you have a choice between kata and kumite bow. All right, and we are gonna do the beginning of tokamini no kun. All right, let's see here. Can I do this? I don't think I can. All right, so I'm gonna have to have my back to you guys. All right, because mirroring the bow kata is really difficult. All right, so I'll have my back to you. So here we go. All right, ready, yasume. Kitsuke, Rei, Hajime, Kata, Tokamini no Kun. Hand goes up the back of your hand. The bow is resting on the back of your hand, all right? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it around and catch it and end up here, all right? Then you're gonna pull across. You're in a hanchi stance, by the way. I know you can't see my feet in a hanchi stance. Pull across, just about to your right eye. Don't go too far. Then you're gonna wind up so you're ready for a down lock and step your left leg back and down block. All right, then you're gonna do an overhead strike. Now we're gonna drop it to our belt. We're gonna do three snap strikes, guys. All right, so right from here, I step over, crane stance, snap strike, nope. Right, right in place, I do my overhead strike, horse stance, snap strike, crane stance, snap strike, horse stance, snap strike. Shuffle back, circle block. All right? So it's three snap strikes. So watch here, guys. I'll do it sideways. So it's going to be snap strike. One, two, three, circle block. All right? So let's do it again. Here we go. Ready, Yasme? Kitsuke? Right? Hajime? Ka? Tokume no kun. Bow is resting on the back of your hand. Step up to an Anahachi stance. Flip it around. Pull across. Wind it up and step your left foot back down. Overhead strike. Drop it to your belt. Snap strikes. One, so switch to a horse stance. Snap strike one. Step over crane stance. Snap strike two. Horse stance three. Shuffle back. Circle block. All right. So that is the beginning of Tokamini no Kun, guys. All right.
right? So again, practice that. If, again, if you've done it before, that should be coming back to you pretty quickly, all right? If not, just work on that, all right? Um, you might, there might be another video out there that's got a little bit better view for you. All right, I can do it. I'll try and do it this way once, guys, so maybe you can see a little better. All right, it's Yasme, Kitsuke, Ray, Hajime, Kata, Tokumini no Kun. I step out, flip it around, pull across. I wind up and step my left foot back and down. Overhead, drop it to your belt. Snap strike. Snap strike, snap strike, circle block. All right? That's the beginning of the kata. All right? So practice that on your own. Take your ball outside. Go practice. All right? Right now, guys, we are going to do some self defense. Let me see. I better have the camera like that. We are going to work on our brick fall and our forward roll. All right? So I think you guys. Probably all know your should all know your back break fall at this point. Cross the arms, tuck the chin, roll back, and hit the ground with both arms. Notice both my arms hit the entire arm at the same time at about a 45 degree angle to my body. All right, it's not this landing on your elbow. That's no good. That hurts your shoulders. It's definitely not this. This hurts your wrists and your shoulders. All right. It's the whole arm. That's why I tuck my chin so I don't hit my head. All right? And the whole arm hits. All right? We can do it from this crouching position. Cross the arms, tuck the chin, roll. And see how I roll and let my feet go up in the air. Don't try and stop yourself. Let yourself roll back. All right? And if you've got it, guys, and you're good at it, then like I did, roll back, break fall, and see if you can roll yourself right back up. All right, so that's our back break fall. All right, you guys all know that one, I think. Make sure you've got some kind of a soft surface before you practice that one. The rug, or maybe you've got a yoga mat or something. You know, don't do that one on the tile floor, the hardwood floor. All right, I suppose you could do it out in the grass, but you're probably going to get grass stains on your clothes if you do that. So hopefully you've got some place where you can practice that. As well as the next thing, our forward roll, all right? So again, you guys have all done your forward roll before. Some of you might be really good at it. Some of you might still have trouble with it, all right? Everybody's different with the forward roll. Some people get it right off the bat and some people really struggle to get the hang of that. It's all about getting your feet up over your head, guys, all right? So for those of you that are having trouble, get in that same crouching position we were in for the break fall. Make that diamond with your hands. Remember, we're really rolling over our shoulder, guys. I'm not going to go straight ahead. I put the diamond down. I put my whole forearm down. I kick my legs up over my head. I tuck my head. And I roll almost off camera. All right, so you see how I didn't really go straight, guys. I went to the side because it's a shoulder roll. Because I don't want my head to touch the ground. I roll on my shoulder, all right? Now that's the slow way to do it, and that's the way we teach people to do it, is with the hand and then the arm because you're leaning this way, and you're trying to tuck, see this, this diamond I'm making here? I wanna try and make my head go through here, and then the feet have to come up, all right? Once you get the hang of it, I'm gonna actually go the other way with my right shoulder, all right? You can do it standing up, all right? But be careful with that, especially if you don't have a soft surface at home, guys. I'm on the mats here in the dojo. So it's easier for me to do, all right? So it's all about getting those feet up over your head, guys. Some people are just afraid to have their feet up in the air. You feel like you're gonna fall, you're gonna hurt yourself, you're not gonna land correctly. It's one of those things that faster is better, all right? When you do a forward roll slow, it doesn't really work. But you gotta kinda do it slow to learn first. But once you get the hang of it, it's actually much easier when you do it faster, all right? So one more time, watch from here, crouching position. Here's the diamond, here's the hands. Now the arm goes down, I'm tucking the head. I'm getting ready to get my feet up in the air. And there we go, over on the shoulder. All right, so, and that is a really a very important self-defense move. Guys, when you fall down, get knocked down, you don't wanna just land. 
You want to do your forward roll, all right? Rather than a forward break fall, that's not a lot of fun, all right? I would much rather be doing a forward roll and maybe get myself right back up than fall and do a forward break fall, all right? So the forward roll is an important move, all right? So that's it, guys, all right? We're gonna bow out. Good job, these videos are gonna be shorter because now we've got the separate warm-up video, all right, with lots of Sensei John exercises. Make sure you go check that out. Here we go, already. Focus, respect, feet apart, hands behind your back, what do you say? And thank you for watching, guys. As a dedicated student of martial arts, I will live by the principles of black belt. Honesty, courtesy, integrity, self-control, perseverance, and indomitable spirit. What kind of school is this? This is a black belt school. All right, good work, guys. I'll see you next time.